Donald Trump did an interview earlier today with a conservative radio show, and he sounded absolutely sick and awful. I'm going to play you the clip. I've had to edit it a little bit because in addition to sounding very ill, sounding absolutely off his rocker, he was also spreading some of the craziest conspiracies. But the point is, for a man who wants to run in 2024, he doesn't look so good or sound so good. And we made a great trade deal. Our farmers are getting rich now because of the trade deal I made. Our manufacturers, it was great. It was a great deal. But I don't even talk about it. I rarely talk about it. It's the first time I've mentioned it in a long time. Because the COVID, now it turns out that that was right. We were right about a lot of things, John. You and I. We were right about a lot of things. So you can see that. You can hear his voice. It is raspier than it's ever been. It's really, really rough. And it's quite telling because unlike when he was president and he was giving speeches and giving interviews literally every hour of every day, you know, because he was, you know, the most powerful, most sought after man in the world. He doesn't do nearly as much media now as he used to. So the idea that it's just raspy because he's talking a lot doesn't really hold weight. He's clearly not feeling well, and he's clearly off his rocker, full of his lying-filled dementia, if he believes anything he said there. There's the edited conspiracies around COVID and all those sorts of things, but also, it's just this idea that, oh, the farmers are getting rich now. First of all, there's not very many rich farmers out there, but if we're being honest, Donald Trump, despite the fact that a lot of farmers vote voted for him, made their lives absolutely awful with his trade combat and his machismo, which hurt a lot of America's farmers over the last few years. And if they are making a recovery, it's not due to him. It's in spite of the fact that he tried to ruin their lives and he's no longer out of power. And so this idea that Trump doesn't brag, he had the goal in this video to say, oh, you know, I don't brag very much. You know, I don't like to say I was right very often. You know, I don't like to toot my own horn and say, I told you so to Joe Biden and the media and the Democrats very often. Like the fact that he's saying that shows how far gone mentally he is. And again, this guy wants to run in 2024. The signals are all there from a political perspective. I know some people in the comments and some of my recent videos are very skeptical that he's going to run, but everything indicates that he's going to. Allies are saying he's going to run. He tells his supporters that he's made a decision or that he's extremely close to making a decision, but that they're going to be very happy. And the only way his cultist supporters would be happy is if he runs again. They would not be happy if Donald Trump wasn't running again. So that's an open signal to say he's running. In addition to the fact that he's still raising money, he's putting up ads, he's building up teams in places like Iowa, he's doing a high pro profile event in Iowa coming forward in the next few weeks. The dude wants to run, but we have to ask ourselves if he's going to be healthy enough to do it. And again, Donald Trump, it would be karmic if his health was the issue. Because remember, in the last election, he made it all about Joe Biden's health. It was all about sleepy Joe, demented Joe, old Joe. Joe physically and mentally couldn't do the job. I, Donald Trump, am young and healthy and virile. Here, my doctor gave me a note and I took the dementia test. It would be so richly deserved if it was all about his health. This man doesn't have the physical or mental or emotional stamina and health to be president. But of course, we don't live in a just world. And so long as a half of the United States is crazy, and so long as the Republican Party is willing to rig it to win, this absolutely broken man in every way could be president again. My goodness.